All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to season two of the Dose. Hump Day Show. Oh, no, it's not Hump Day Show. Fucking the Three A Podcast. Fuck the Three A Podcast Show. Come on now. Damn, Fucking up just, already. We just hardest. started. Nah, bro. We, we just fucked started. up. We fucked up earlier. Like I know this format on the YouTube side is not the normal one for the podcast, but actually, we recorded this earlier today. Man, only recorded like. 40 seconds of this shit it pissed me off i was like man what a way to start so then we're like all right let's just do it in the nighttime here we are redoing this episode yes. one of season two of the three-way podcast uh so today i guess i'm hosting today since uh los is out dina is like missing and jp over here has bronchitis and he's dying r.i.p i'll see you in the next one nah, uh, hold it on, hold it on bro. <laughs> so yeah um so yeah let's jump right into it let's go into pop Let's go to pop. Pop. I'm definitely down. Pop. Culture. Pop. <laughs> uh, that was good. That was good. Fuck. <laughs> Anyways, Spider Man. Yes. You. So, uh, yeah, actually, this happened like while I was out. Like, I was out of town, and, and then, like, hella shit happened while I was gone. Like, I was gone for A like, lot two, of shit two days. I come just back. That. Spider-Man is out of the MCU. Sony is like talking shit. Disney's talking shit. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And then they come to find out that basically this shit started off with rumors that, oh, uh, Sony wanted uh, Kevin Feige to stay on to to continue producing, help produce these Spider-Man movies and the Venom movie and the crossovers with the yeah. MCU. But uh, it turns out Sony was like, no, 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 that's not the that's not what happened. Yeah, what happened was Disney wanted way too much fucking money. And they like, wanted more than half. They, yeah, they wanted a lot of money for these Spider-Man movies. I mean, I don't blame them, but then again, in, in this last deal that they had with the first deal they had with Sony regarding this Spider-Man deal, they made like four billion dollars. It's not like they're well, like getting well, I, like hold out. <laughs> I think I think that Disney sees it like we're pushing the product, we're doing the promotion, mm-hmm. we're pushing the movies, the script, we're at, including this. Like mm-hmm. Sony's just there, like I just own the rights. So I get that aspect of where this yeah. is coming from, but I also understand that Sony sucked at fucking. Yeah, I mean Spider-Man. Sony. Sony has not done a very good job with these properties. At uh, all. Honestly, like uh, like I was telling Los earlier, like did you not see the Venom movie? That movie was kind of fucking ass. It like, was. It was how, not good. How it made that much money? Like uh, pff, I don't know. Just the name. The name Just alone, the name. Venom and yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. I mean that's what go. it is, and uh, I think that. Kevin Feige has Feige, 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 Feige. 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 Yeah. He's doing a really great job. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, we're not all going to be happy with the way things turned out in in the Marvel universe. But mm-hmm. Spider Man specifically, like I watched Far Away from Home, it was okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he could have done a lot better. But um, just by the promotion, the way they did it, yeah, it sold very well. Yeah, absolutely. It, it did very well uh, <laughs> for the YouTube side. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like uh, muting himself whenever he's coughing. Yeah, because well, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> but uh, no, like, um, so okay, so at this point right now, Spider Man's out of the MCU. Bye bye. So and, far, and honestly, it was so uh, it was so like foreshadowing when I saw how. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Far From Home, too fucking bad. If you've, You would have seen it by now if you wanted to watch it. Yeah. But at the end of Far True. From Home, uh, basically Spider-Man's identity is revealed to the whole world. And the, it, it kind of had like a vibe of how the Iron Man movie, the original one, ended. Where he's it like, was I'm stupid. Iron Man. And it was like, it was, no, what I'm saying is like, you basically know who the, who that person really is, but it was kind of like in sign of, kind of like in lines of that, because it seemed they were trying to get Spider-Man to anchor the next phase of the, uh, the MCU. So uh, when I saw that, and when I saw that they didn't have a deal done, I'm like, oh, that's, that's tough. I don't think that's going to be a good idea for a Marvel to do that right away. But now that these, this deal hasn't come through, it's pretty much falling apart. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a hoping they're fixing it. Hopefully they'll come to an the agreement. Word, look, there's too much money. Mm-hmm. When there's yeah. too much money like that involved, they're always gonna come to an agreement. Yeah. And and I think Sony knows that mm-hmm. they're not doing shit. They're just hey, we have the rights, you can use yeah. it. So I think at some point Disney will get their way because Disney mm-hmm. is like unfortunately a monopoly now. Yeah, so, at this point it seems like that. There was even talks of like. Disney should just fucking buy Sony. I'm like, fuck no, dude. That's dude, enough. Stop. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> enough. Bro, like, that's why I'm like, 
I'm not really too worried about it. Yeah. It might not, because I mean, they weren't going to make another Spider-Man into the next year or two anyway. Yeah. So they have time. I, I think that uh, they'll come to some common ground. Uh, we'll see what happens. I mm. I feel sorry for the Spider-Man kid, mm. but at the same time, uh, I don't even know his name. The actor, Tom, Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Holland. Like I feel sorry for him, but because that's how he got his start, basically. But now we can see if he's actually a good actor. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so we'll see what happens with the Spider-Man universe. Yeah. Hopefully, he'll come back to the MCU. If not, well, then I guess he's going to fight Venom, Carnage, and all them. And just, just, a, <laughs> just a quick side note. Yeah. Disney Plus looks fire. I think oh, I'm going to have yeah. to get it. At this point, just, yeah. Just, just letting y'all know. It looks <laughs> fire. Lord Jesus. But speaking of possible fire, Matrix 4? Yes! Matrix 4? Confirmed? Yes! Who was expecting a Matrix 4? And you know what the weird part is, too? Keanu and the other chick is com are coming back. I'm like, uh, mm, didn't they die in the No, one? he didn't die. He didn't she die. Died. So she died. She fucking died. She died. She died. But Carrie Ann Moss. Did. Yeah. Yes, but we don't she know how Trinity. she's going to be there. Because uh, essentially at the end of, of Matrix 3, mm -hmm. like the robots take him away. The Matrix takes him away. Yeah, and they, they had away with him. Yeah, and like <laughs> <laughs> fucking they had box. fucking tentacles and all that shit. Oh, okay. uh, it was. That's what happened. They all dropped right. him. Uh, but uh, so basically, uh, Matrix one, two are like my phase. Three was, eh. but mm -hmm. uh, I love the Matrix, so I'm so happy. And the fact that everybody coming back mm -hmm. just makes it even better. And maybe yeah. she might. She's dead, but she might be like a holographic holographic image. You know how, like, sometimes when he does that, I think that's what like they're when they brought back for. Tupac. <laughs> you know they brought nah, back Tupac like that, bro. I know, I know, He's bro. He's dead, dude. It's hard to tell yeah, you. I, I, hey, hey, news. He, I don't know. But anyways, uh, uh, I think, what was her name? Laura Wojcicki? Uh, I don't know if both of them are doing Both of the Wojcicki's are doing it. The Twins? It. I don't think I don't think it's both. I think it's only only one of them is writing and directing. I, I don't. Well, I don't remember I, them mentioning the other one, but like we, they don't haven't released a lot of details. They, yeah, but they just said, "Hey, the main cast is coming back," yeah. which is what oh, we actually, want. Actually, the them two are coming back, but then they're talking about like recasting everybody else. Like I don't know oh. what they're gonna do, but I mean. For me, I'm kind of like, yeah, okay, let's see some Matrix again. No big deal. I have the I have the trilogy here. Like, I'm well, the Matrix there. was ahead of its time. That that mm -hmm. that the first one was way ahead of its time. I can still watch it to this day and yeah, be like, first wow, what a great yeah, movie. Of course. What a great uh, movie. So yeah, that's gonna come out. See how it goes. Maybe it's gonna be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Who knows? Hopefully it's um, good. But also. Um, there was like the D twenty three is like some kind of Disney convention shit. I'm not sure. Yeah, like, honestly, Monopoly, I was, bro. Monopoly, I wasn't, bro. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to it. Like I said, I wasn't here. Me neither. But what I did see and what we noticed is that they finally revealed that Mandalorian trailer that's going to be on the Disney yeah. Plus channel. Uh, did you did you watch it? I watched the trailer. They, mm -hmm. they didn't get too much, so you can watch it. They didn't get too much. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm overlay it over your face, but keep going. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, it's really good. It looks like they. It looks gritty, which I like. Mm -hmm. It looks very gritty, and there's no lightsabers, so yeah. it's yeah. This is it, supposed to be right after Return of the Jedi, like a couple yes. of days after. So this is nothing but gunplay and nothing else and nothing more, which I really like. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know if we know who the main character is. It's but, uh, that guy, the Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, uh, but we don't see Pascal. his face. We, we, don't, we don't see his face. Oh, it's shit. Like My bad. Pedro, Pablo, Pascal, something like that. The guy who played the Viper in Game of Thrones. The Viper in Game of Thrones. Yeah, the one who fought the mountain. Who died. Oh, hey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm interested now. I like him. He's a good actor. <laughs> <This guy. laughs> um, you know, like, I just, I, I liked how gritty it was, and it didn't show you too much. It didn't give away anything. Yeah. It just shows you. Mm -hmm. Like Mandalorians, like I played Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, yeah. and the Mandalorians were pretty badass. What do you think? You gonna watch it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna watch it. I don't know if I, how soon I'm gonna get a Disney Plus, but I think I'm gonna watch it for sure. I mean, but then it's again, only, Disney Plus is not even that expensive alone. It's like fifteen bucks. Yeah. Is no, no, that's with the bundle. But Disney Plus alone is like six, seven dollars. Wait, wait, wait. The bundle of what? The bundle of what? Uh, Disney Plus comes bundled for like fifteen bucks, and you get Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, and Hulu. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, fifteen bucks. Yeah, 15, 15 bucks. But Not if bad. you just want Disney Plus, it's like six, seven dollars. 
Um, oh, but anyways, awesome. yeah, so that's going to come out on the Disney Plus channel. Uh, is it, I think it's eight episodes, and they're going to come out like weekly. It's not going to be like Netflix where they're going to oh, come out all at once. So it's going to no, come out one at a time. Don't tell me that. What that shit? Yeah, but man, fuck it. You that know way what? You don't, I, you don't just pay for one month. You got to hey, you gotta stick around two yeah. months. <laughs> I tell but you I mean, shit. Monopoly, dude. Straight up motherfucking Monopoly. They have their <laughs> own TV show, their own radio station. Their own I app remember the Disney, the Disney radio station. I remember that shit. Dude, they, they straight up <laughs> Monopoly, dude. I'm telling you, I need to beware, man. man well, yeah, but, I'm excited for it. But talking about like all these Kingpin drug dealers, so they're making a Breaking yeah. Bad movie. Yes! I saw the trailer. El, El Camino. El Camino? El uh, Camino. I wonder if they're going to answer the question. I honestly think Walter White is dead. Nah, he uh, dead, man. He dead. Spoiler alert. Okay. Spoiler alert, bro. Yeah, if you have, again, if you, if you haven't, haven't seen it by now, like, oops, Come sorry. out of that rock, dog. If you haven't watched <laughs> it by now, come out of that rock. One of the greatest shows of all time. Facts. Um, I think I think Walter White is gone. They're focusing on uh, Jesse Jesse. Kingman. Yeah. Uh, bitch. Uh, bitch? Bitch? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Bitch? Probably bitch? Not. No, he says it really gritty. Yeah. Uh, bitch? But I don't know. <laughs> Point is, <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, just to bring back, back those stories. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I really loved about the show, which I want them to do in the movie, is because it's like so realistic, bro. Mm -hmm. Like in, in the show, at the very beginning, he's at a Denny's. Like, at Denny's, bro, I have yet to see an actor or anybody, like, in the movies, many movies or TV shows at Denny's. Like, this was so realistic. He's at Denny's, bro, like, mm -hmm. doing the shit that we do. So I, I, I hope they bring that uh, characteristic into the actual movie, which nitty-gritty and real. Like, it's not all like that. It's like the gunplay. It's not, like, all badass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, on TV yeah, shows. Yeah. Now, here it's just, like, doof, doof, that's it. Like, you get it. So, you know, we'll see uh, the after effects of... Uh, um, Eisenhower and uh, Eisenhower, uh, Eisenberg, um, fucking sorry, Heisenberg, Heisenberg, Heisenberg. <laughs> God damn it. It's been a while. I've watched it's that. Been a while. <laughs> but uh, Heisenberg, you know, I'm excited for it just just to see exactly what happened to Jesse because the show never really goes into debt. It, it, debt. It, it just details. Yeah. It just goes straight to Walter White, you mm -hmm. know, saying his amens and and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm excited for. I know y'all ass is excited for that shit. Yeah, I mean, literally that last season of Breaking Bad was like probably the best TV I've ever seen. It was so fucking yeah. good. Yeah, like it's so fucking good. But uh, yeah, so the Breaking Bad movie coming out soon. Uh, that's gonna be an, on a Netflix screen near you. That's not gonna coming in the theater. It's coming straight to Netflix, of course. Man, I'm just waiting on Netflix to show me Cowboy Bebop. I'm still fucking waiting. Oh yeah, the live action version. Yeah, they haven't even true. shown nothing of it. God hmm. damn it. Probably see something soon. Um, so yeah, that's been. Pop culture. Pop. Let's jump into sports. Yeah. <laughs> Leah's uh, about to cry, y'all. Leah's um, about to cry, y'all. What's, what's the sports one? It's a home run. It's Touch a out. home run. <laughs> Touchdown. Oh, sports. Sports. Space sports. Space sports. <laughs> so uh, uh, I guess this is all you right here. <laughs> nah, that's all you. Come on, bro. Come I don't know, no, no, but no, 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 goddamn sports or the NFL season. All right, all right look. Uh, so the NFL season is going on right now. It's the preseason. It's, it's the, the third week, y'all. We got two more weeks, two to three more weeks before mm -hmm. the actual season starts. So for all you fantasy people out there, Andrew Luck retired. He fucked y'all in the ass just like he fucked Indy. So he came out basically said that he's retiring because the love of the game isn't there for him no more. He had no. so many injuries, and every year he has to rehab, rehab, and all this rehab and all the things of that nature has pissed him off. Like, he's, I don't he's, think it pissed him off. I, don't think, a, I think it's just, just made him depressed. Do he doesn't want to do hurt. all that shit. Yeah, and I mean, part of it is his fault, I think, no. and part of it is the Indianapolis Colts part. No one can deny that. I think got, it's all the Indianapolis Colts' fault for never nah. protecting his ass. Nah, and I'll, and I'll get to that. I'll get to that. So the Indianapolis Colts never gave an offensive line. Facts. Correct. And that right there is why Angela got injured a lot. Mm -hmm. Another thing is that he held on to the ball, and he wanted to be a running quarterback at times. Who the hell Fact. is he going to throw the ball to? Throw it out. Live to, to live another play. Fucking hey, T.J. Yates? Get the fuck out of here. He has T.Y. Hilton. He has T.Y. Hilton, and he has Ebron. 
So, I mean, what, what the fuck more else do you want? Trash. All trash. Uh, T.Y. Hilton is not trash, bro. They're all Chill trash, out. bro. So, at the end of the day, I feel that, uh, I think it was 25% Andrew Luck, 75% the Colts. But, you know what? I I thought what really, what really kind of, like, aggravated me was when in, in Indianapolis fans booed. Because it's like, mm. what the fuck do y'all want him to do? Like, you guys didn't give him an offensive line until now. And he's already injured, so what's the point? Yeah, and, even, even now he was already injured with like some kind of ankle issue or something. Yeah, like that. and so you know, I, I get it. Like if I was working at a job and I loved it and it was very physical, bear with me. <laughs> and it, I, I'm telling you, bro. Technical and it was very difficulties with his yeah. dance. <laughs> so if it was very difficult and I kept getting injured and I had to go do rehab and then go back to work and it happens again. Yeah, dude, I'd be fucking annoyed and pissed off, and I wouldn't want to do it anymore. Yeah. So I get his point, but he was, in my opinion, mm -hmm. I, I feel he was overrated. Uh, mm -hmm. I, he, he was supposed to be the next Peyton Manning. Remember, remember, people forget this. Remember, the Indianapolis coach gave away Peyton Manning. All right? They gave him away and basically put all their chips in the bag with Andrew Luck. So they deserve this. Um no, uh, I mean, I think I think Andrew was good regardless. I mean, the year that RG3 won the fucking Rookie of the Year, he shouldn't have won. It was fucking Andrew's. Nah, he should have won it. But you know what? It's over. Shoulda, mm -hmm. coulda, woulda. He's, what, 29? 29. Very young to retire. 29. Very yeah. young to retire. Especially, I mean, it's uh, not just he, him that retired. It's also Gronk that retired at 29. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, this shit happens. But uh, let's see what else happened in the... NFL. No, well, so, I don't know what else happened in the NFL. What, well, Jerry on? Jones is still in a stalemate with. Uh, oh, with Zeke because Zeke. he's trying to get paid. That's right. So that's still there. Uh, you know, we got OBJ bitching and complaining that he's in Cleveland and that. The wait, New wait, Giants he's bitching that he's in Cleveland. Yeah, he said, bro, and I quote, he, he said that the New York Giants sent him there to die. <laughs> I'm not Whoa. even lying. Those are exact words. Those what? are exact words. I didn't that know they, that. I thought yeah. he was happy that he was. So with, he's uh, a little. He's a, look, honestly, you know what? It just goes to show you, like, he is a diva receiver up to, up the ass. I put him it's in line. Because you know what? T.O. T.O. was a diva, but he fucking performed. Chad Ojocinco was a diva, but he performed. Odell yeah. Beckham, what has he done? 0-1 in playoff games. Doesn't show up. One-handed catch, bro. Bro, that's all he know, he's known by. Like, literally. One-handed catch? Literally, Eli Manning against the Green Bay Papper, pa Pappers. Pappers. The Green Bay Packers <laughs> that, that year that they went to the playoffs, yeah. he, Eli Manning was playing great. He was dropping balls left and right. Yeah. So even in the touchdown zone. So you know what? I mean, you know, screw OBJ. It's going to be a fun season. I mean, the Texans just lost their starting running back and their starting right tackle. Oh, yeah. uh, so the season seems like it's over. But then the um, Texans also pick up somebody from the Cleveland? Uh, yeah, Duke Johnson, 5'8". Really? <laughs> Uh, you don't need him to be like your star, but you know. But uh, he's who's gonna do the blitz blitz packages? I don't know. Give so, it a give it a well, give it a I mean, what? Give it no, a JJ. well, Bill O'Brien is a general manager and a coach, so I don't expect the Texans to do much. I hate Bill O'Brien. Uh, I, I I don't hate him as a person. I hate him as a coach. I think he's a shitty coach. But <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is. But yeah. But then we see we go jump right into the NBA to another crybaby. Dwight oh. Howard. Dwight Howard. Yeah. So Dwight Howard gets picked up by the, the Lakers uh, for a one-year contract because we know Boogie yeah, Cousins. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a one-year, but it's not guaranteed. The one, the the Boogie Cousins injured him his foot. <coughs> like a, I mean, literally, Dwight <coughs> should, Dwight needs to take advantage of this moment. Yeah. Like, yes, he's gonna probably be coming off the bench because uh, Javale McGee is like the starting center. Yeah, and then, and then uh, the the brow he wants to be continue playing like a power forward position. Small forward is going to be your uh, LeBron. And then, I mean, honestly, if they can stay healthy, this team does look like a, com a competitor. A as competitor. Far as a I wouldn't say championship. For the championship. But because no. only also they're not the only ones re uh, like with the new team either. Like there's well, I mean, so many new teams basically going on. Well, well just sticking to Dwight Howard, they already mm -hmm. said he's 25 pounds overweight. Oh, really? Uh, I heard he was, uh, he was losing weight. He has to lose weight. He was 25 pounds overweight. Mm. So they told him, you got to lose this. So he got, he has to lose it. Yeah. So I don't know. I, <coughs> <coughs> Dwight Howard has always been like a goofball. And I just never really liked his presence on the court. He's, oh, he yeah. Actually, there was an interview that he did when he talked about that, how, how he kind of like 
like understood now what Kobe was trying to like do with him and like how like he was trying to like get him to get past that shit and take like this whole thing more serious and understand like this shit ain't gonna last forever. It's and, not. And you know, we'll see how it goes with the mm-hmm. Lakers. If they get uh 80, 90 percent Dwight Howard, they're gonna go to the playoffs. Yeah, that's what I was telling Lowe's too. If they ever even get close to what he was when he was with the Magic, fuck man. That's gonna be yeah. a really good team. So I mean we'll see. And then like LeBron James is gonna take him out. You know what I mean? Like he's gonna help yeah. him out. And then you have, of course, uh Kyle Kuzma. Mm-hmm. Um so th- they'll do good. I don't think they'll I still think out of the West. It's either going to be Golden State or... Uh, it really, or, Golden State still, even though they're not even top 10 power ranking teams. Bro, Clay, they, ha- they still have Clay Thompson. Right. They still have Draymond Green. They right. still have that uh, piece of shit, Stephon Curry. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, you know, we'll see what happens. Because honestly, I don't see the Rock... With that black hole that the Rockets just got in uh, Western Westbrook, <laughs> you know, if he doesn't change... That's, if he doesn't that's ch- still... Oh, my gosh. I'm so interested to see how that's going to play out. Bro, it's like... Like you throw the ball to him, he's like Kobe, bro. Like that ball just gets stuck there; it doesn't doesn't move. So, you know, and everyone's like, "Oh, it, what about his assists?" But anybody can do ten years, ten assists. <laughs> the hell? Like they act like I want to see ten assists where it matters, where he has yeah. the ball and yeah. like he passes it up. Like Michael Jordan when he won that championship, he could have fucking shot over somebody, but he was like, "Nah, let me pass mm-hmm. it up." That's what I want to see. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see Russell Westbrook shooting thirty shots in a playoff game. No, you know. So I, I I love my team. I just don't see that happening. Mm-hmm. We'll see. And then he's not even a good shooter, so we'll see. I, I don't know. But I still see Golden State and L.A. Clippers, uh, either one. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I guess uh, we'll cut uh, sports off a little early right there. There and we go. And let's finish it off with some gaming. Mm. Woo! Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the fuck those, uh, I don't know what those does. Uh, pew, uh, pew, pew, uh, what the fuck else does he do? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> game, I, was, I was about to do game that. Game over. That's, that's game the one. over. That's the one. Yeah. That's All one. right. So Sony acquires Insomniac. Insomniac uh, is the developers of uh, the more recent um, the Spider-Man. Marvel Spider-Man game. Uh, so what are your thoughts on this? I think, I don't think it's a big move. Mm-hmm. I think it's an okay move. It's a smart move. Okay. Because then you have the rights to do certain games, and you can move it around. I think. And then, uh, isn't Insomniac doing uh, Avengers too? Right? Uh, no, that's uh, Square Enix. Oh, Square Enix. I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, um, I, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Because I don't think they're not going to release uh, any games until PS5. The so. games, the games that they have in their staple are games like Sunset Overdrive, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Spyro the Dragon. Uh, they have they recently they've been making a lot of VR games like Edge of Nowhere, The Unspoken, Stormland, uh, Song of the uh, the Deep. Uh, PS3 games that they des- they made was Resistance one through three. Uh, let's see, they made a game called Fuse. Yeah, That's basically what I'm it's a lot of the Ratchet and Clank series. Yeah, uh, Spyro. That- uh, yeah, I don't know. So- That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't I don't see it as a big move. Mm-hmm. But it, it could be potentially a big move, depending mm-hmm. on what... Because in something I'm not going to say that just with Spider-Man alone, they showed that they can go real serious on it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, we'll see what it what it does. I mean, do you think it's going to be like a big, big wave? Or is this... Because to me, it's I like mean, a little raindrop. It's, it's a good start for their PS5. Because, yes, I agree. Because, I mean, a lot of people don't remember, but initially when PS4 came out, it was pretty Ratchet dry. I mean, yeah. the only fucking games that were on PS4 at the time were fucking kill. Uh, was it Kill Switch? No, Kill Zone, and which was a fucking like it was more of a demo for the controller. I remember Kill Zone. I, I played it, I bought it, and it was like it wasn't good. And then it was also um, that uh, Knack game was like so little what? kiddish. It was terrible, of which somehow got a sequel. I'm like, Ugh. but anyways, I mean, like I said, initially the PS4 was not a good like gaming system eventually it got to where it is now uh i think let's, Sony let's not is kid tra- ourselves it's, it's not it's not it's a great the exclusive system. bro it's it's what they have been like, yeah i mean get, get arsenal but ps but, ps has always been i mean for starting from ps3 and mm-hmm. up it hasn't really been much about gaming it's more about 
movies and quality and things of that nature. So we'll see no, what they do. No, I think that's Xbox. It's Xbox is the one with the whole like entertainment thing. Xbox, like, when they came out, they always have great games along attached with their new consoles. Yeah, but they never had something like exclusive to them. So no. it, it, it can like drive people to go to them. But yeah. like, anyways, that's a whole different thing. But the point is, is that this is a good move for Sony. I think this so is gonna, too. This is gonna carry them into the PS5 era that they're coming into. Uh, we don't know when that's gonna start. We know when the Xbox is next era is starting. But... If it's if it's next year, so man, mm-hmm. these motherfuckers compete. If it's next year, so will PS5. It'll compete. Well, we can actually go into. Uh, you put this in the in the list, but let's go ahead and talk about it right now. There's rumors of the PS5 leak already, like a model. Yeah. It's a model. Pull this up. Yeah, it, go it should. And talk about it. It, it should be there. It's like black and green. Um, it looks interesting. Uh, I just don't know what's going on in the middle. Um, if you can show it, but it, I, I kind of think it looks cool. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it looks big though. It does look uh, big. Here, let me put it up right in front of your face. It looks right. big, bro. It does. All right. Look so, big. rendering of a leaked PS5 design brings the rumored uh, console to life. Uh, it basically looks. Ooh, literally looks like a router, to be honest. That's what I thought. Or like, like a modem. A, a modem, right? But a big-ass modem. <laughs> it looks weird. It looks weird. Uh, like, uh, I, I, it's not a bad design. It's not. I don't think so. I just, I thought they were, I, I thought they would go sleeker. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Well, let me see. Let me read this. This is from tech, techradar.com. Uh, it says here... If you have some, um, uh, let's see, this is the first report about the leaked patent. The touch, uh, the Dutch uh, publication created their own 3D renderings for what could be the next PlayStation 5, all based on patent illustrations they obtained showcasing the console from different angles that mm-hmm. include a back section and its ports. Uh, so this is, I mean, oh, I don't know. It looks it looks weird. It looks uh, lit, uh, actually I think I saw this earlier in the week and I thought it was like VR headset. But no, this is the console. This is it. But I, I I think I think these leaks. I don't think they're leaks. I think it's just PS5 saying let's see what people think. Let's leak it and see what people think. Oh and, yeah, yeah. Shit like that happens all the time. And I I, I think the feedback is not negative because it's not it's not it doesn't look bad, Elias. It doesn't look bad. Oh, it looks it, bad, bro. It looks, it looks, uh, it looks like they're in the, cause like if you notice, it's sleek, and then at the back, it's like that big old bump, like in the middle, it's very sleek. I think they need to go that route, yeah. um, and stick to what they, cause that's what that's what they did with PS4. They they went very sleek. Maybe go that route. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, it looks interesting. I, it does. I kinda... it, it does look interesting. I hope this isn't the fucking actual model. I think. I'll... I think maybe it is what you just said. They leaked it on purpose just to see what the fuck the reaction was gonna be. But yeah, mm, uh, yeah no, that's gonna be a hard what if... pass for me. Let me ask you: What mm-hmm. if they change the colors? Because you know how it's green. What if it changed the colors? Like you're talking about the sections that look like they have like yeah. a little indent. Nah, it doesn't matter. No, doesn't matter. I thought no. that would be cool. Mm-mm. Okay, the I think way, if they this is the way it looks now, like no, absolutely not. Maybe if they make it a lot sleeker instead of those bumps, make it sleek, and mm-hmm. then make the light make it light up a little bit more. I think mm-hmm. that'll that'll be. I mean, it's not not, not it, a lot of people that thought they were like, oh, it looks fine. Like, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter how it looks like; it's more what it what it does. But mm-hmm. um, and I think they know that. But th- you want to make it look presentable, in other mm-hmm. words. Mm-hmm. So I, I I get that, but it's leak. Uh, Xbox. Where you at? Where I don't know. You at? I, want, I want to see that, that that Scarlet, but you know, we still got until what next uh, the uh, next uh, Christmas season or something. Yeah, like that? all I hear is yappity yap 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 yap. I, I see nothing. I see nothing. <laughs> Uh, speaking of yap, 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 uh, Gamescom 2019, we see a bunch yeah. of new uh, gameplay trailers, uh, some new announcements. Uh, just really quickly, some of the announcements they made. Uh, personally, for me, I'm kind of excited for it because uh, Little Nightmares 2, I pl- I have Little Nightmares 1. I have the fucking like, collector's edition. I love that game. It was so good. Oh, wow. it's, it's not super long. It's really like like kind of like a chill game but not really at the same time because it's kind of like based in like horror but it's actually really good i recommend that for anybody who wants to play that uh they announced vampire the masquerade bloodlines 2 never heard of bloodlines 1 so i've heard bloodlines Uh, 1 but i never played it okay and they also uh talked about a game called greedfall yes Mm -hmm. it looks 
Okay. Uh, it, Green Fox it been like, yeah, ahead, it's been ahead. it's been it's been going on YouTube like crazy. It, it looks the graphics look good. Um, it it uh, it, ah, they're hyping it up a little too much. So I really don't understand the story, but it looks okay. interesting. It looks interesting. So we'll see how that goes. But if you look at the video on the clip, it actually looks pretty decent, at least uh, uh, from what you see. Uh, it's going to be a hard sell for me because I have to see more. Okay. Uh, it looks like like, like uh, kind of like a, an Assassin's Creed. Yes, like era yes. Kind of type of game. It's kind of like know. fantasy. So that you know, how, you know me. I'm into that shit. So, yeah. you know, like, it, it'll be, I, I probably would get it, but I want to see more. If it looks good to me, I'll get it. If not, I'll just wait till it comes out in the cheap. Okay. Um, let's see, what else did we see? Uh, there was a game called Distinguish, or Disting, Disinterrogation? I don't know what the oh man but i mean regardless we saw like again we saw a lot of like uh gameplay for games that are upcoming as well like uh, the new need for speed heat uh call of Which, duty did, did you uh, like the new need for speed did you think it was i thought it looked good uh, i need to see more i mean I, i'm i like need for speed i have the last one that came out uh, but i want to see more i like I, i'm not i'm not i'm not really sold on it yet but i, I do I, I am interested in it i mean it's a need for speed i've always been interested in those type of games i like the music that they have too um, so and also, we got uh, oh, they released that footage of the gameplay for the Marvel's Avengers game. Did you see that? Yes, and I, I, I thought it was decent because it's just the beginning. Okay. And I, you get to play <coughs> with all the characters. The one character that turned me off, like I was like, what the fuck, was Thor, because Thor was like getting hit and like he was going back and just of a punch of a regular fighter. I thought it was cool that he would throw his hammer, but I thought his hammer, like, they should, like, amp him up. You know what I mean? Like, his, if he throws his hammer, he just hit almost everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Um, But other than that, other than that, uh, his face wasn't bad. You're such a lie. You hate it. His face wasn't bad. I didn't uh, say it, that. It, 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 you said his face. He said, that was said Lowe's. <laughs> I oh. said it looked it looked decent to me. It looked fine. It looked to me. decent to me. It looked good to me. It looks interesting because basically they insinuate Captain America dies. Um... So we'll see. Uh, it looked interesting, and the fact that you, there's different parts and different levels where you can use each character, they better make this bitch a long ass game. Uh, well, no, much. I mean this this what they release. Oh, is wait, like the, wait, it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of like the intro of the game. So mm -hmm. you're, it's kind of like throwing you to all the different uh, heroes, but like I think the main part of the game, you get to pick <coughs> your character and kind of like build them up. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Yeah. Well, I mean, if if you like the Avengers, you're gonna want to do everything. Um, yeah. Especially if you're completist like me, so it looks like I like I really like the the way mm -hmm. Black Widow went about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they made I really huh? they made it look really badass. So I like that. I like the fact that how Tony uh, Stark with his Iron Man suit, he's just like flying and he's doing this and he's like shooting and stuff. Like I thought that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I I really did enjoy it. Uh, you know, I'm not like, oh my god, it looked dumb. You know, it, it was okay. I want to see well, more. Well, the type of gameplay is this. I mean, it's going to be when it comes out. It's like a multiplayer, four people co-op player game. Um, okay. And then they're going to release like different heroes, uh, like kind of like in seasons as well. So be prepared for that too. Like Wolverine? Uh, Woo! Probably. Woo! I don't know. Maybe. But uh, I'm super interested in this, uh, mostly too, because of the voice actors they're using. Uh, yeah, Troy, Troy Baker and Nolan North, like they're two staples in the like gaming industry in terms of like voice actors. So I'm pretty excited to see how they, uh, you know, portray these characters. I think one of them is Hulk Agreed. and the other one is uh, Iron Man. Uh, I'm interested to see who else they're going to get for the other characters. Uh, but yeah, I'm super, I'm, I'm not super hyped, but I'm super interested in this game. For no, sure. yeah, it's interesting. That's what I'm saying. I'm not like for me, like when Resident Evil 2, you guys know when Resident mm -hmm. Evil 2 came out, I was like, Oh my God! Like this, and it and it did. It blew me away. Yeah. Uh, to me, my it's 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 a, it's about to be September. Still the game of the year. Yeah. Still I'll the fucking game of the year. Hey, did you see that they added a uh, Devil May Cry Five to Game Pass? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, Holy yeah. shit! I downloaded that shit. I, I'm still trying to get time to play it. You haven't <laughs> played it, bro. No, you're gonna like yet. it. You're gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, folks. Um, but yeah, I, I'm interested. 
I'll, 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 more than likely, I'll get it. It's a Marvel game. That so I really the, want to play. the other thing, too, they, they showed at Gamescom was a little bit more of Death Stranding, which actually is coming out in November. Uh, this is the yeah. Hideo Kojima game, the first game he, he's, he's made since he's left Konami. Uh, for me, regardless of what he makes, I fucking love it. I, I'm a huge ah, stan. Come on, I, I'm a stan when it comes to Metal, Metal Gear. Like, his Metal Gear series is so fucking good. Like, literally, I, I think, like, Metal Gear Solid, the one on PlayStation 1, I think I think that could possibly be like the first game I ever actually completed, like you know, just completed, because it, I remember it was like four discs long. It had like its different sections, and like it had all of these things where like uh, uh, the what's his name Mantis, like Psycho mm -hmm. Mantis, was like controlling your controller. And at one point in the game where you're fighting him, he's like reading your memory card. He's like, oh, so you like to play Crash Bandicoot, huh? Uh, I mean, this is a little like weird shit that he adds in there. It's so fucking cool. I'm I'm just excited to see what he adds. Uh, to this. I I was hyped up, and then I started watching more and more. And like usually with games when they're pushed like this. They're not that good. Mm -hmm. I I hope I hope you're right, man. It just ah man, something about it doesn't doesn't entertain me. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it well, is. Well, supposedly like so far like uh from what people are understanding what the story is, I think they were explaining it a little bit. Is that that basically you're playing uh, Norman Reedus's character and he's going from basically from D.C. to like California basically, and he's reactivating nodes or something like that. Uh huh. And like what he's doing is trying to like connect people back together because everything's kind of in shambles after the whole Death Stranding thing happen uh there's a lot of detail they were showing too how like uh like these characters they call mother and uh i forgot what uh, like they have these like just little like like one kind of thing names man and, like, how, and how they're connected and how they work it's i don't know it, it looks crazy it looks weird but i'm interested dude i'm like i don't i'm, I'm kind of like tired of the typical trope stuff too like i want to yeah. see some weird shit i want to see something different like okay that's why I, I, no, really no, like I, it. I agree i agree I, and you know what i you know we'll see we'll see because mm -hmm. that's the thing like until i play it like i, I was all hopped out uh, hyped up for anthem and we know how that turned out no so, i think it Anthem always, for me at least, it always had something like mm, I don't know. Like the gameplay was always so good, but like when you get out of the the javelin and you just go to the typical world shit, it was I don't know. It just felt off. Like it, it felt like it didn't fit the the Anthem world. But I don't that's know. True. That's a whole different thing too. Yeah, but you know what? Um, we'll see because they're gonna release more from what they they inform me. It's like mm -hmm. a TV show. They're gonna release more, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, and I guess, actually, this one was added by Lowe's because he actually played it. But for the last part in gaming, uh, we're going to give some COD impressions for the new Modern Warfare game coming out. Uh, yeah. And now, I've seen a lot of it. Like, my impression so far is just seeing it because, again, I don't have a PS4. So, like, right now, the alpha is, like, on only PS4. But yeah, not PS4 either. Yeah. Yeah, Blows did get to play it, and he was talking about it a little bit earlier. He was talking about how it really made him feel a lot like this game is leaning towards like a game like Siege, like Rainbow Six Siege. Like and realistic? No, more like like the characters feel a little bit more heavier. Like they don't feel as lightweight and, and fast like they do in the other Call of, Call of Duty mm. games. Uh, it's it's for sure a new engine they're using. Uh, there's a lot of like new mechanics in this uh, in this uh, Call of Duty. Uh, for me, like I told Los too, look, that that's great for multiplayer. But honestly, I barely touch multiplayer. What I'm interested in, in is how they're gonna handle their story and how uh, crossplay is gonna work. I don't know. Oh. They're gonna no. I think they said they're doing Spec Ops because Spec Ops is like the oh. the Modern Warfare series thing. Um, I I think I don't I don't remember. I think I was only a, a rumor that I heard. That they're gonna do a battle royale as well. I really hope they do. I think they said that it was gonna be like free, like beside the game. Oh wow! It, they said it was gonna be free, and again, it's gonna be crossplay, like uh, like the rest of the game is gonna be. Uh, that's yet to be confirmed. I don't I don't think that's confirmed. I, I don't believe it is. But I am excited for this. I hope that shit is gonna be like like uh, well at least have a battle royale. And yeah. as far as like the gameplay from what I've seen, <coughs> from what I've like uh like watched on streams and whatnot. It looks fine to me. It looks like a mixture between, again, Siege, Battlefield, and Call of Duty. I mean, I, I'm, well, I'm, I'm kind of excited about that, too. I, I'm going to more than likely get it, too, mm. even though, like, which is surprising. But uh, we'll yeah, see. I was about to say, when is the last time you bought a Call of Duty game? 
long fucking time. <laughs> long fucking time. Long. Yeah, time. long time. Let's just put it this way. I was about to hit my 20s. I think I hit my 20s. I'm 32 now, so. Man, you old, bro. I am. But yes, you right with there old with ass. me, ho. Shit. Old but no, um, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see what happens with the alpha being for PlayStation. Then Xbox is gonna get. Yeah, I think um, it's, 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 it's gonna be on PlayStation first, and then Xbox, mm-hmm. and PC, and then all of them all together. I don't know. I forgot how it is. But point is, like, I uh, I told Los too. I was like, well, look, whenever it goes live for everybody, let's let's try it out. You on the PlayStation, me on the oh, Xbox, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh no, you goes. on the PC. You on the PC. Nah, I'm fucking terrible on the PC. I'm scared of playing on PC with those this kids. motherfucker here. Those kids yeah. are too good. Like it's hard to keep up with them. I'm they use the same control. They're using the same controllers. You no, know, they're right? not they're using a keyboard and mouse. You're, that's a lot more precise. Yeah. You think so? I know so. Because <laughs> I've seen a, I've seen other people play with just controllers. Oh no, bro. Yeah, I mean, you can play with a controller, but it's not the same. Hundred percent. Not- Mm. You think the keyboard people are better? Yes. No. There's no question about it. <laughs> well, we'll see. But yeah, guys, uh, Call of Duty. I mean, it's that time. It's that that mm-hmm. season, that fall season, where shit just starts coming out. So I'm hi- I'm hyped for it. I'm mm-hmm. hyped for season two, bitches. I'm hyped. Two. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I uh, guess it's gonna end our uh, first episode of season two. Uh, again, man. Oh my God. I know if I'm, if I was yawning or whatever, it's cause I'm fucking tired. Yeah. Like literally we, we <laughs> recorded sick. this, we recorded this shit 10 hours ago, but it only recorded like 40 seconds. I was so mad. Yeah. I did that whole thing. We did and the whole recorded. thing. Yeah. We did the oh, whole damn thing. Oh, dude. That's he why it pissed me off. Like we did the whole damn thing. We were thanking everybody. We were like, Hey, make sure you share, please. Damn. That's all we asked for. We were hey, groveling. Hey, no, and that's then, right. Man. Hey, but by the way, please. Uh, click the the, <laughs> the 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 bell and subscribe now. That's all we're asking. We want support. We want to bring you good content. Yeah. The only way for us to do so is if you guys actually uh, like and subscribe and let us know exactly what the fuck I want us to do. We're trying to experiment ourselves. Yeah, honestly, just give us any ty- type of feedback, good or bad. Any feedback, like, we'll man. Take it. Yeah, like uh, any, anybody. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Lord right, Jesus, please. no! Right, Anybody please. that's like an actual YouTuber and makes money, let us know. Like how we can improve. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying. To, I'm over here trying to make this shit a reality play. Uh, but you know what? It's it's been an exciting year. Um, because we just we've done this for a year now. Mm-hmm. It's been tough at times here and there. We've had to have little replacements here and there. The core mm-hmm. people have been. You know, life happens. But we always try to get back mm-hmm. together, and that's what we're gonna do. I'm not working Saturdays uh much more uh if i do work it's like one or two hours so i'll be available uh i'm looking forward to just trying to bring in content for you guys so please like and subscribe we're on anchor spotify i do <laughs> we're on youtube uh we're on instagram facebook uh twitter uh so you know just please uh, follow us uh give us that opportunity to try to get better man that's all we're trying to do is get better and bring great content for you guys all right well i couldn't say it better myself yeah, <laughs> for you, for you, that one person watching. Hey, thank you. Shouts out to uh, Canadian shout Leo. Out, shout out, shout out, Leo. Shout uh, out, shouts out to the Canadian Leo. He, yeah, you we, might actually see him here too. We asked him if he wanted to join every every once in a while. He said yeah. So we'll, oh, we'll, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah he might yeah. pop up on here. Uh, um, yeah, and because Canada gives shit later than us too sometimes. So yeah, poor Canadian. I can throw it in his face. <laughs> All right, yeah. well, that's it. <laughs> Thanks so guys. Thanks so much guys. Have a good one. Peace. Bye. Good night. Have a good morning. Nice. Shit. <laughs>